Hi Libra, I'm Annette McKinley, this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm coming at you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where we have a really nice snowstorm right now. Um, this is a general love reading for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Cusp. And I would appreciate it if you would like, share, subscribe the heck out of my channel. And I appreciate your positive comments and feedback. Um, before we get started with your reading, I just want to remind you, as you all know, I'm sure, because it's all over the place, about this moon we got happening tomorrow night. Um, January 20th and 21st, we have a super blood full wolf moon and total lunar eclipse in the sign of Leo. Um, it's going to thrust uh, change and it might cause some uh, uncertainty and anxiety for some people. Um, you just need to roll with the changes. We've been going through major cycles the last six to 12 years, many of us, and this is about getting on your true path. And uh, it's time to sink or swim now. It's time to uh, straighten up and fly right and get yourself together because if you don't make the choose the right path, you're going to be screwed. So this is like the first day of the rest of your lives. Um, what is causing this difficult energy is a square with Uranus. And, um, you know, you cannot freak out. You Everyone needs to remain calm. Um, nothing bad is going to happen. Change is good. Um, and Libra, you are a cardinal sign. Um, the cardinal signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. They initiate change. They force change. They bring change. So you're going to do just fine with this, um, Libra. You, you enjoy change. You thrive on it. Um, just go ahead and take that leap of faith and uh, head out on the path that's set before you. Just make sure you're making the right choice. All right, so this is a general love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. It may or may not make sense for everyone who sees this. Use your own common sense and good judgment when watching tarot videos. My tarot readings, my general readings, are like Twinkies. They have an extended shelf life. <laughs> So you could watch this video today or next week or next year and it still might make sense to whatever you're going through or wherever you are in your journey. Know that the story can flip around. It could be your story or the person you're dealing with. Again, we're working with energy here. So I'm going to grab a message out of the fortune deck as the overall theme. I'm going to be using the Triumphi Della Luna deck since we have this amazing total lunar eclipse and full super blood wolf moon in Leo. And I think Leo and Libra are opposite signs in the zodiac. So this is awesome. Big changes coming, but good changes in love and career for many of us. Okay, so Libra, you need to keep in mind that the stars are here. A long journey brings rewards. This is destiny and fate, optimism and hope. Aquarius type of energy here. We've been on this long spiritual journey of self-love and self-development, self growth. It's going to pay off. Oh, okay, so I didn't even start shuffling. Let me see if these come out again. We'll have the Hierophant and the Two of Swords, which is the minor arcana version of um, the uh, Libra Justice energy and then the Hierophant so we'll see if these come back out. This deck is an unusual deck, and that's why I chose it. It's Triumph of the Moon, Triumphi della Luna. I did shuffle it and clear it out really well, but 
It's got extra bonus cards, so it's a little bit thicker than your average tarot deck. Libra, love, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp, please, spirit, through January 31st, 2019. If you'd like to book a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box down below. All right, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Swords. That's you, Libra. The Sword of Justice, Truth, Clarity, Victory, Communication, a new beginning of enlightenment and honesty and truth. Three of Pentacles, teamwork, new beginning, laying that foundation, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, three is a number of alignment. Things are coming into alignment. We have death here, number 13, one and three is four, four brings stability, resurrection, an ending and a new beginning at the same time, Scorpio energy. The Fool, Aquarius, Aries energy. Getting on your new path, taking that leap of faith. Getting, getting that fire lit under your butt and getting, getting a move on here. Like I said earlier, it's time to take these training wheels off and get on your new path. And you've got the Page of Cups here. Water sign energy on the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone's been uh, holding back love, keeping it to themselves. They've been drinking from their own cup of love. But this is also, normally Page of Cups is a heartfelt message or apology. Um, it's flirting. It's new love. It's true love. But someone's been keeping it for themselves. Maybe a bit of a narcissist, too. Gluttony. See his big beer gut? Drinking from his own cup of love. Somebody loves themselves, but now they see the truth. There's going to be a change in the ways, and now they see the truth. Cleaning up their act to becoming one. Learning not to be selfish. This is about teamwork and partnering up. They're, they can't be selfish anymore. They're going to have to give in order to make things whole. You've got a smaller heart here and a bigger heart. If someone was being selfish, it was hindering this heart here. They were keeping, they love themselves more than, than this union on the bottom, which is creating difficulty. So you need to reverse this and Team up with your partner to make this love bigger, which is like an Ace of Pentacles here, which is a healthy new beginning, the seed that's been planted. It's an opportunity from, from the divine. It's a divinely given gift. Truth. Somebody might have uh, called you out on your stuff, and uh, maybe you're now aware that you have some narcissistic tendencies. It could be you or somebody else that you're dealing with. So, again, you know your story, but someone might have called a narcissist out they're like you need to be more giving and stop being so selfish and we need to team up here and partner up to make things better have a healthier way of being in our relationship okay stars fate destiny having hope optimism and renewal aquarian energy we're coming into aquarius season tomorrow. Today is Saturday, January 19th as I'm recording this. So death is ending of the old ways in order for something new to come in. Scorpio energy. So something might have started last fall during Scorpio season. Someone called some somebody out on their baloney. They're like, I'm not taking your crap anymore. You either need to straighten up and fly right and work with me here or you're going to be out the door, buddy. This person may also drink a lot. They don't care. Um, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. 
not gonna not gonna go there. Um, some somebody I know, somebody I know intimately, it's like this. Who who is a Libra? Um, but yeah, they need to stop it because if they keep this person might be an alcoholic. Um, and have some other unhealthy habits. And if they don't stop, they're going to end up killing themselves. This is death. They need to change their ways. They, they probably have three children to think about here, too. Otherwise, someone's going to pack up and leave and just go off on their own. Leave this behind. Because they're stupid. Someone is uh, wasting this opportunity to straighten up and fly right here. They're, risk, they're at risk of losing their family because they're foolish and they're stupid. Or acting foolish and stupid. It's the behavior, not the person. Could be the person too, but it's more the behaviors. Someone might, you know, might be so selfish and narcissistic and they don't care about the wife and kids and they might just pack up their stuff and just walk away from it all. Or they could be having some regret. Okay. Let's get some clarity around these major cards here. So there's, there's, you know, they're being given, there is an opportunity here for a second chance from the divine and you have to open your eyes and see it. Again, this, this full moon, total lunar eclipse, is make or break time. It's judgment day, people. You need to get on the right path or be left in the dust. And it's physically, spiritually, metaphorically, realistically. Spirit is not messing around. Spirit is not messing around. We've got to, we've got to get our, our shit together and raise our vibration as a collective. People need to get their get themselves together now or be left behind to suffer in the mess that they made for themselves. You've got to learn how to love yourself first so that you can be there. Okay, so let's clarify the stars for you, Libra. Yeah, so stars represent fate, destiny, Aquarius energy, healing, optimism, faith, renewal, healing. Somebody's walking away. Eight of Cups, Water Sign, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're wa they are thinking about walking away from something that is not fulfilling. It's not emotionally fulfilling. This person, normally Eight of Cups shows somebody walking away. She's, this person sitting here is thinking they have not yet decided to walk away. There's a cup in front of them. This person's been drinking. And that leaves seven, seven cups behind them, which is confusion. Someone might get very... Um, if this person has a drinking or alcohol problem, they get confused about reality. Their, their sense of reality is warped. And they get these crazy ideas in their head when they're drunk. And they, they just look at their life and they're not happy with their life. And they're like, I wish I made better choices. And this is about making, you're being divinely guided to make the right choice. But do it when you're sober, not when you're drunk. Someone's drinking is causing a lot of, Problems. They think they're drinking because they have emotional issues that they haven't dealt with. 
But if they don't stop drinking, they're going to end up killing themselves and leaving behind three people or three children. Because it's gotten out of hand. I hope whoever needs these messages hears this. Please share the video if you know somebody like this. Libra, why is death here? Justice. This is Libra energy. It's literal, it's legal. It's literally legal stuff. Somebody may be drinking or they're, they're, they might end up having a DUI or causing, you know, have legal issues or problems. This person may work in law enforcement or the legal system. This is also karmic justice. It's about balance, making decisions that are fair for all. Somebody could, it also represents marriage and divorce. Somebody could be ending a marriage and walking away because of somebody's drinking and neglect of the family. This is make or break time. Like I said, something with this moon is going to be a life-changing event for many people. There's going to be some sudden shakeups. If you're on your right path, you have nothing to worry about. I'm just telling you. Yep, Ace of Cups. There's an opportunity for... A new renewal in love, I'm so sorry. And then I bet you this is going to... There's an opportunity here for a renewal in love. Ace of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be renewing vows after being at the brink of divorce. Finding a way to mend it. There's an opportunity here. This is an outpouring of emotion, love, tears. Your third eye, your intuition opening up, becoming balanced. Somebody might actually be able to... Um, if you're a psychic medium or intuitive, your gift, your natural gift is going to be wide open because the veil is so thin right now. Um, you might start getting more, um, you might be able to actually communicate with people on the other side, but in a balanced way. All right, why is the fool here? All right, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person, I think, is going to see the error of their ways, and they're going to make slow and steady progress towards getting on their right path. Conversely, or reversely, or whatever, they've been slowly making progress to acting foolish. <laughs> They've slowly gotten themselves into the situation it's been going, or they're very slow to get moving on their right path. They're just not budging. They've got the Ace of Pentacles in their hand. They were given this gift, this opportunity, and they're going to act like a fool and throw it away by not doing anything. This is somebody who's all talk and no action. They say they're going to do stuff and they never do. It's one broken promise after another with this person. And somebody's getting fed up with it. And they're getting, they just, they're ready to walk away from it all. Okay. All right, so let's get a vintage wisdom oracle message on this, and then I'll get two love uh, oracle cards for you, Libra.
You just gonna pull one message here and then two love messages. So gentleness. So this definitely I think has to do with a married couple or a committed couple. The the feminine energy doesn't have to be male or female, especially um, if you're in a same sex um, relationship. Someone's been very gentle with with this person who's been down the wrong path, possibly an alcoholic. They've been very gentle and kind. And, um, but I feel this has to do with a marriage or commitment. And this person is no longer going to be gentle. They're going to lay down the law here. This person's had it. They're whipping out the sword of justice. They're putting an end with death here to this nonsense. They've had just about all they can take. And they they feel foolish because people might have tried warning her or him or whatever, this person, about, you know, what happened before. This person may have been married more than once or married once before. And uh, you only heard one side of the story. And now, now they see, now they understand why the, the first partner left. It's crazy. Life imitates art. This is kind of what, what happened with my first marriage. And uh, he remarried and had three babies with his new wife and works in law enforcement, or worked in law enforcement. And I left. I couldn't take it anymore. I left after only three years, long enough to build a house. And uh, this is also years. This is really crazy. This is not about me, but I'm just saying I relate to, to this. And I often find my followers and clients are people who are going through what I've already been through and we're of the same soul family and on similar life journeys. So I was married long enough to have two amazing children and have a house and that was it. I, I walked away from it. I, I had a had a pretty nice life, but it was a nightmare living with somebody like this. He was an alcoholic. He beat me verbally and mentally abused me and our infant son and Made me out to be the bad guy. Gaslighted me. Tried killing me. Tore our entire family apart on both sides. So if you're going through this, I empathize with you and I am. Please, please, please do what is best for you. And then he, yeah, he had three babies with her. Oy, 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 okay. Destiny point. I just said, you're at the crossroads here. You're going to have to make a choice. Somebody's going to have to make a choice here. Straighten up and fly right or um, lose it all. You're at, somebody's at the risk of losing everything. You should have learned this lesson already. Somebody should have learned this lesson already. This isn't their first trip to the rodeo. They've had multiple chances to get their shit together. New love. So there is a chance that you can save this marriage, save this partnership, or find somebody who's in alignment with your vibration. Go off on a new path with something new or someone new. Or work this out. It's up to you. Free will. Spirit never interferes with your free will. It's entirely up to you 
to make make choices that are healthy for you and for the highest good of all. So I hope this makes sense. Until next time, Libra, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.